Hey everyone, this is Sam with Wrestling Overtime, and this is with your quick and easy down and dirty uh, results show of Super Showdown on February 27th. The kickoff show showed the Viking Raiders versus the OC, and the OC got the win with the Magic Killer, and then they... Uh, Ran, basically, from the ring. Then, at the start of the pay-per-view, they just started... They decided to start with the Tawait Mountain Trophy Gauntlet match. The first person drawn was R-Truth. And then Bobby Lashley come out. R-Truth pinned him after Bobby Lashley missed a spear. And then... Lashley attacked R-Truth, hurting his left side. So, the next person out that R-Truth had to face was Andrade. He's back from his wellness suspension, and R-Truth banged his head together uh, and got the pin. R-Truth then had to face Eric Rowan with his cage. But anyway, Truth wins after Rowan is disqualified for using the steps. R-Truth was thrown into the steps and knocked off the cage, leaving Rowan to get upset, so he used the steps and got disqualified for it. So then it was R-Truth versus AJ Styles. Styles got the win with a submission uh, using the calf crusher on our truth he was just too tired and wore out to withstand that so it became AJ Styles versus Rey Mysterio the only problem was we saw on the big screen that Mysterio was getting beat up by Anderson and, and Gallows the good brothers and then we saw Anderson and Gallows um take a spill, get thrown across the room, and all we saw was a trench coat. Well, of course, then we heard uh, the Undertaker's music, and Styles, while talking to him, makes the mistake of touching him. So, the Undertaker just picks him up, choke slams him, still in his trench coat, and pins AJ Styles to win the gauntlet match. The next matchup was Miz and Morrison taking on the New Day for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Morris, uh, Morrison hit Kofi with a chair to the stomach, which allowed Miz to roll him up in a pin. He was holding the tights, but uh, right after they were holding the championships as Miz and Morrison become your new champions. Uh, then we saw Angel Garza take on Humberto, and Garza got the pin in this one. Then we had Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy take on the Street Profits for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Um, Murphy pinned Dawkins after Seth Rollins, of course, cheated and did a stomp to retain the titles. After that, we got to see Dolph Ziggler take on... Mansur, the uh, Saudi Arabia guy that has a winning streak going on every time we go to Saudi Arabia. Well, he continues the win streak. After doing a moonsault on Dolph Ziggler, he pinned him for the win. Uh, then we had Ricochet versus Brock Lesnar. Well... Brock Lesnar basically swatted at Ricochet, did three German suplexes, F5'd him, and then pinned him. Um, this wasn't a contest. Brock wins. Then we had the steel cage match. A Baron King Corbin against Roman Reigns in the steel match. Steel cage match. Uh, Roman Reigns wins with a chain-wrapped Superman punch. Naomi and Bailey were then for the women's championship. Well, Bailey retained. After wrapping Naomi's feet 
into her shirt and then slamming her face into the mat and then pinned her. And in the surprise of the night, we watched Goldberg and The Fiend. This match had four spears, two mandible claws, and a jackhammer. And Goldberg took the win. Right after, as Goldberg is looking at The Fiend, the lights go out. And the fiend disappears as Goldberg starts to celebrate. You want to hear more about the Super Showdown other than just the down and dirty results? You're going to have to wait for the review. Because I'm going to have to sit down and think about this one. And then tape it. And let you know what I think. And I will be back with my raving and rants about this particular show that lasted about 3 hours and 15 minutes. I look forward to talking to you guys later. Have a good one.